Hi yeah, guys, today I'm going to show you another very interesting device from the famous manufacturer FNI RSI, which is producing a lot of good quality consumer products and that's the electromagnetic radiation detector model ERV10 and it's a 4-in-1 so you can measure temperature, magnetic fields, radiation field, electric fields, everything which could bother you. So if you don't feel comfortable in your workplace, maybe don't have really good sleep, then maybe it's time to use this device and check out what's going on. And so here we have it. Of course, comes with a modern USB-A to USB-C charging cable and a quick instructions manual. And we have this screen protector and also some protectors here in the back, which we should remove before using. Charging very easy from any USB source. For example, also from this power bank. Then we see the charge level, a really nice display. Yeah, love this. And so after turning on, we choose the language. Then what I really like here is how easy it is to use. So we can start it with a short press and it shows already some electric fields. And the reason probably is that I'm working here on a standing desk with a built-in motor. Maybe also something to be aware of that this could be a problem. But I have also some other electric here and I've turned off the sound. What's really amazing here is how easy this is to use. I've just been playing around a little bit before reading the instructions manual and I found actually everything already just intuitive. That's one of the most important tests because we don't want to check the instructions manual all the time. And also something really nice that we have all the readings on one page here. So we have the electric field, we have the magnetic field, we have the radiation and we have the temperature. And if you want to see that as a curve, you can hit the mode button. And so here we see the curve for the electric field and with left and right, we can switch to magnetic field. So you can see it has very low magnetic field, but we have a very high electric field here. As far as I can see, there's no curve here for radiation and temperature. So let's go back. We also have a hold, get the indicator and it will freeze the whole screen. And with a long press on the left side, we can access the settings. For example, we can adjust the magnetic field intensity limit here. We press here, then we can adjust it left and right, confirm, right click, adjust the electric field intensity limit or adjust the magnetic field unit or adjust the automatic shut off time or go to the settings. If you want to change something, we have to confirm with the OK. And that's what I've done before. I've adjusted the volume settings. So we click here again so you can see it would beep here the whole time but i've turned this off let's go back and so we can also adjust the brightness language choose different styles interior or outdoor mode so i'm going back to the interior mode or factory reset so super easy to use so let's do a quick test here with my action camera i had the impression that it has some high radiation Let's put this close, especially down here shows some high magnetic field intensity. No surprise down here. We have a lot of magnets here built in, but I've measured also high radiation, at least at the beginning when turning on or when turning off. Definitely elevated levels here for the action camera, something maybe to be aware of. But let's check around the house a little bit and see what it finds. So let's check here in the bedroom. Maybe here. Yeah, that's pretty crazy here. I've been always fearing that this weather station display could cause some high radiation or high electric field, which you can see here in this area. Maybe something I have to remove in the future for better sleep. How about this display with atomic time receiver? Definitely no problem. Maybe close to the fridge or wine cooler. Also no problem. 
And how about the TV? Let's see. Doesn't seem too bad. I mean, it's a really new TV, so that's looking really good. Not a lot of radiation, also not from the speaker, even when it's turned on. Yeah, here maybe on the side of the speaker, high electric field. And how about the microwave? What happens when we start it here? I mean, it's a brand new microwave. Yes, sometimes it shows a little bit, sometimes giving warning on the electric field, sometimes on the magnetic field. But that was definitely not unexpected. Maybe the water heater in the garage doesn't seem to be a problem. But maybe the electric panel here won't surprise me. Yeah, there's definitely something going on here. And now probably the worst area where I have a modem, a switch and a router. So let's check on the switch. Even though it doesn't have Wi-Fi, there is some electric field here yeah, and here close to the wi-fi router of course the worst thing in our home so definitely should avoid that in my bedroom yeah, and probably same thing for the modem here not as bad as the wi-fi router but also something yeah, and so i'm back here and we definitely got confirmation that it has found the critical points the critical locations exactly the places which i've been expecting to emit some electric fields or magnetic fields or some radiation so for me this seems to be a perfect device to check out a home office or any other place where you live work or want to spend some longer time to make sure that there is nothing crazy there which could interfere with your well-being very easy to use robust solid build doesn't get much better than that and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or want to share your own experience with this device then just let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time